They used the fact that they had a CPO order against her ex-husband, but still gave him visitation to the kids. They used that as bad parental care. False allegations in a courtroom is called perjury. If someone says you did something you did not, it's called slander and liable. Now they got this thing called immunity. They got this thing called identifying. Break the chain. Gail Transfer to Santa Clara. No more immunity. No more Break immunities. The make the change. We got to make Gail it today. Santa Clara. No more immunity. Make the change. Well, I'll tell you something. Did you guys know that in order, somebody was talking to me about a little conspiracy theory among the uh, legal industry just a little bit ago. What happens is people go to law school and they forget the roots. They forget why they got in there. Most of the judges are old prosecutors. I don't remember who was saying that. There's an old guy in a green hat. There he is, right down there. And uh, I'll tell you what. We have to learn how to change our thought pattern if we're going to make these things work. You know, the definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result going to the Constitution. Instead of amending the Constitution, let us enforce what's already there. Amen. there you go. If we enforce what's already there, you're going to find that parenting, bio families, is in there. And here's where it is. In the U.S. Constitution, it says anything not in this Constitution is given to the states. I believe that's Amendment 10 or 11, correct? Correct. Now, you go to your state constitutions in Ohio, it's Article 2, that says anything not in, their con in that constitution is retained to the people. So now, here we go. Who has the right to parent? We do! It is retained by who? Us. We the people. They can't intervene in it. Congress says, keep doing what you're doing in your little states. In the nine months we've been out, thanks to Al Wilson of CASO, our other executive director from Keshocton, she's down there with the shirt, her babies were taken from her in 1981, but I'll let her tell that story when she gets a chance. The thing that we've got going on is I believe that all of us have the power if we bring all of these little organizations, which, look, there's quite a few here compared to some of the rallies we've all been at in our little cities, huh? Right? Isn't this a lot more? So let's get more. Get out there, get more. When you get off work, go to work some more. You know, they've got my babies. And I'll fight to the high heavens for those. That's my prosperity. That's our future. That's our property. That's a fact. People don't like to hear that. And I'm not saying you treat them bad. But technically, until you reach 18, you have no rights. Your rights are enforced by your parents. Therefore, the property of the parent. 
That is the Constitution. That's hard to swallow. I didn't want to accept that, but I have. With that, I'm going to pass the floor over to my fiance, and I love her dearly, and here she is. As he said, we've been fighting for nine months for our case. We try not to fall anything with our case to what we're doing. We're just trying to make a change for our kids so that one day they don't walk into Job Family Services and have their kids removed with false allegations. They're no different than rapists. They come in and we tell them no and they still hurt us. And they know that we're hurt, they're hurting us when they do it. They let hearsay in the courtroom. And that shouldn't be allowed. It's not supposed to be. They said I had the brain capacity of a 10 year old and I'm now in college to become a lawyer, a family lawyer. So that one more family don't have to go through what I went through for the last nine months. And with all the people I see here, I know I'm not the only one and I haven't been the whole only one, but my heart sometimes says I am. We need to remember that we're not alone. And this affects everyone, and this is going to affect the next generation of our kids. And it's just going to be easier for them the next round. Our kids are going to be walking down the street with a baby in the stroller, and they're going to walk up and snag them just because they feel like it. Just because they don't have the right clothes on. It's our God-given right to parent our children. Amen. And these, are, these babies are our generation, and who, what are they teaching them here? in children's services, or the next, what are they teaching our babies? That bio families aren't good enough? I know I'm good enough to be my baby's mom. And we know that the fathers are good enough to be the baby's dads. So let's take back our rights and have them start doing their jobs the right way. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you.